Shamsi, have you found more, in your 15 years of discussions, have you found more people come with emotional argument rather than an intellectual one? No, no, people come, there's no one can, can no one can uh, reject Islam because of intellectual arguments. Yeah. Emotional. Yeah, like never. Something happened when there was a little kid with their father, something like that. I didn't yeah, know, like, yeah, the like my father, like a, a person said, I don't want to become Muslim because when I was young, my father did something to me. She was a girl. I said, look, uh, your father, what he did is evil, no doubt, but that's no justification for you to not accept yeah. God. You understand? That's called emotional argument. And Allah tests us all our time because, you know, uh, even the Quran mentions that Allah will test us. حَتَّى يَقُولَ الرَّسُولُ وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا مَعَهُ مَتَى نَصْرُ اللَّهِ أَلَا إِنَّ نَصْرَ اللَّهِ قَرِيبٌ Until the prophets and the people that believed in him, with him, they say, when Allah's victory will happen, they will be shaken by the, 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 the tests and the trials and tribulations. There's a wisdom behind it. But you know what we have to teach our brothers and sisters? Al-Ubudiyah, servitude. That understand you nothing. Allah destroyed nation before us. Allah destroyed Fir'aun wa wa Haman wa Qarun. So we need an Ubudiya, as Hamad al Ansari, may Allah have mercy upon him, said. He said we live in a time when the people became rebellious and against God. And uh, these people, the all, you can remind them, but also remind them with a the threat and with al Wad Jannah. Alhamdulillah, khair khair. And Akhi compare, may Allah bless you, safe. Compare with the people that use philosophy. And the people who use the Quran and the Sunnah, how many people accept Islam by way of people who are the Sunnah? Not because of me or because those brothers who use Quran and Sunnah, it's because of the blessing of the Quran and Sunnah. We we'll lie, use the philosophy along with the discussions. Some people would argue that intellectual proof is a part of philosophy. Like, if you give an example how like, to prove, Allah, so for example, you get an ayah of Quran, yeah. you explain the ayah like, with an example. Some people might say that that is. That philosophy is a logical. Yeah, you see now, I understand that, yeah. But that's not, it's not because why? Firstly, philosophical arguments, philosophy, we know what is it. Like I said, philosophy is based upon what? Skepticism. Doubting, that or yet. You have to prove everything. Yes? So, according to philosophy, you show in a verse in the Quran, you have to prove that first. But the Quran, logic, for example, of that, fitrah. They say to, you have to prove to me there's a fitrah. But fitrah is self-evident. How will you prove to you it's a fitrah? If I prove to you it's a fitrah, then the fitrah needs to prove. That's why um, Aristotle had that, what's it called? What did he have? I don't agree with this guy, but what did he have? Um, he had the law, no contradiction or something. Yeah, I don't know if in line with the fitrah. No, 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 he had 10 categories, okay? The 10 categories, which is about God. Okay, the law of no contradiction, Aristotle never had it. Everyone knows that. Yeah. A child knows that. Ibn Taymiyyah mentioned, example of that, Ibn Taymiyyah, he mentioned it. No, but, but the philosophers, they tell you, no, that is, that is not a fitrah. They just, they will explain to you, understand? Yeah. That's why I'm saying, don't entertain them, akhi. Yeah. Because everything, they can bring doubt about everything, akhi. So, so what's, the actual, what's the actual fine line between, like, a logical proof and then philosophical? A philosophical argument, you have to prove it. You have to prove what is not by necessity. Okay. A logical argument, you don't need to prove the logical argument. It's proved by itself. And that's what he's using the Quran. Like even, so like even I'm holy in the verse. I'm in I'm Were they created by nothing, or did they create themselves? Allah is not showing us. He, Allah is not, is not just saying us. He had the mentioned this is not a, like is a, Allah's asking. No, this is a rebuking question. Like a rhetorical question. Are you sure? Are you are you okay that that this universe was created by nothing? You understand? Of course, Allah, but I'm just saying like in our own yeah, wording, yes? Yeah, in, in the stand, okay. There's no need, this proof is not needed. You understand? That's why, you know, when the, when the fitrah, because the, the messengers uh, address the fitrah. Afillahi mm shak, -hmm. man huwa Allah, fatiru samawat al-ard. Are you doubting Allah? Now, in the Western world, and many Muslims, they doubt Allah, the most obvious thing. And you know, we try to, when you try to prove the most obvious thing, you go for long, that's why you see some, some our brothers. Huh? You go forever, man. Because why? Every proof needs proof. Yeah, yeah, Every yeah. proof needs proof. Every proof. But Islam comes in with the starting point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The philosophers, they leave off starting point to go to look for the starting point that they left. Yeah, well, you yeah. point? Yeah. They, they, they leave the Daruriyat and then they start looking to prove Daruriyat which they already left it. Even on. You know, with the fitrah, I've seen, you're right, because I've seen philosophers say that the fitrah is a parallel to the child parent complex. 
Yeah. In my opinion, I think it's, they just bring too much trouble hard to the. Well, like, I don't even insane. They bring a lot of dope, but I was just thinking. I never really entertained it. Obviously, that's good. I watched like because I'm a very like. I'm a logical person, so I don't just like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I check things through. Even when I read the Quran, I see the proof there that even Surah Qasas, like, you know what I mean? Surah Qasas, yeah? Yeah. Real for Surah Akhir. Yeah. 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 The person, like, you know, the atheist, the atheist, they, they, they don't believe, yeah? It's just like, at the end, like, when he make accident, he go, he gonna die, like, when there's in fire and there's nobody to help him, yeah? He will ask God, yeah? That's true. Because That's true. the fitrah inside of him, there's a God, and he know about it. You know what the ulama mentioned? You know there's a fitrah? If someone, if an atheist has a fitrah, by trying to negate him. How? The atheist says, you know, the question, the question atheist, prove Allah's existence. And the proof, the fitrah. They say, if there is God, why there is, e no, no, why there is evil? Who said evil is not good? Yeah. <laughs> Where do you get that from? You understand? Subject. Something within yeah. them, no, something within them tells them evil is not yeah. good. So who created you with that? Yeah. You, you pre-programmed evil is not evil. good. But you just misunderstand that Allah allowing evil because there's a test. That's why some In order for, there's many wisdom behind it. Yeah. yeah. That's why some atheists, they say, oh, there's no good and evil. They, they try to reject all of it. Yeah, yeah I know, know, man. As soon as they accept there's good or evil, yeah. they have, there has to be a God. You know, yeah. Shamsi, even yeah. last week, not last week, but I saw a video where you had a discussion with a guy and he was brought to you the problem of evil. You brought to him the arguments about the, the attributes of Allah, the wisdom, life yeah. is a test, yeah. the afterlife. And the free will, and then next week he came to take a shahada. Yeah, Alhamdulillah, he's from, uh, from America. The American brother. Yeah, he was sincere, Malak, keep him firm, you know. Have you lost in the video when the guy told me? He said, I think it's a dream. Yeah, yeah, I posted on my Insta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said to him, Can I have your phone, please? I said, I said, It's a dream, bye bye. You know, there's another one. I spoke to him for long, yeah? I said, he said, There's nothing certain. So, because I, I still had his phone, I gave it to him at the end. I oh, said, you I sure? He said, yes. I said, you never gave me the phone anyway. No <laughs> he, he woke up. You see how he woke up? Yeah. Why? Because you put him in the real test. Yeah. That's why, my brothers, many people come to Speaker's Corner debate against Islam. Wallahi, the, the argument that they use, they will never live by it when they go outside the park. Yeah, Wallahi, they never. Argue, argue That's it, you know? But as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَمَا يُجَادِلُ فِي آيَاتِ اللَّهِ إِلَّا الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا those who debate against Allah's verse except disbelievers. Yeah. Disbelievers, they're arrogant. Yeah. Allah's verse are clear. Shamsi, yeah. why, why do you think, you see, with skepticism, yeah, in their life, their daily life, they're, they're not really skeptical like, by the doctor, by their family, but when it comes to God, they flip the logic. Yeah. And they try... I mean, there's two types of skepticism. There's one which is praiseworthy, you know that? Yeah. But the blameworthy, like, you start doubting everything. Yeah. yeah. So you start doubting even your own selves. Like, one of them was speaking to him, yeah? And he's like, Prophet Muhammad, what he did, uh, he, 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 uh, uh, he was wrong, he was this. I said, hang, hang on. You told me there's no certainty. So you, there's possibility what Prophet Muhammad did was right. He said, yes. I said, you're confused then, go back. But, so, uh, but a form of skepticism. Yeah, you can. A form of yeah. skepticism we, found, we find in the Quran as well, when Ibrahim alayhi obviously when he's a young, and he sees his parents, uh, his father worshipping the idols, and then he looks to the stars, and then he looks to the moon, and he looks to the sun, and so on. No, so that's not. The Salaf never explained that. I don't know, but that obviously is that not a form of skepticism? No, that he was showing his people. Okay. He was asking, like, for example, I say, like, imagine you bring me a book. I said, this is my God. Yeah, this is not, it's not, it's not telling them, he's doubting Ibrahim. I said, no, he's showing them the, uh, the foolishness of believing this is God. You understand? That's not, that's, that's why the ulama mentioned the correct, strongest. That Ibrahim says was no doubting. How Ibrahim is going to doubt about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when he has a fitrah? He's already, he already destroyed idols. How is he going to doubt? But he, because remember, there's two types of shirk. Shirk occurred amongst nations in two ways. One in galaxies, the universe. The other ones in righteous and idols. Ibrahim, alayhi salam, his people, they were having the, uh, uh, shirk in galaxies to believe in galaxies and the, the sun and the moon, they somehow have effect on the universe and control. So he was showing them, like he did with the idols. You understand? How he said, uh, 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 what do they call it? Fa'alahu uh, kabirum. He didn't tell them the kabir did it. Yeah. He's just showing them that, you understand? So he, he was not skeptic about but it. But in, in the same way, is that not how other Muslims use philosophy? They don't they necessarily believe the premise in of itself, but they just use the arguments from it. To present it to these people and say, 
well listen this is what you're doing on, on the on the premise of logic you know what, what is the premise of logic well it depends what you're talking about that's what i'm saying okay if the philosopher <laughs> said i don't accept the premise of logic you're using you have to prove to me this premise first exactly but obviously there's how are you gonna prep obviously there's regularities and, and patterns within the universe that there's things obviously like the law of non-contradiction contradiction and all this stuff yeah, but they bring doubt. They, they prove to me that doesn't happen. That's my point. Save with, save, with, save with, as you say, we save with Dean. Because you know, uh, yeah. you know <laughs> Dean, I would say, safe. Yeah, yeah. Safe. You have to remember what we're talking about. Philosophy is a marat. It's a disease. Mm -hmm. Philosophers, like we accept, they, they don't believe that yet. Mm -hmm. Now, when you accept their method, their method is based upon trying to prove everything. You understand? Mm -hmm. So when you tell them, let us, based upon our argument on these premises. They're going to say, prove these premises is the premises itself. So a Muslim, what he does, I just entertain that, and he start proving, and he start playing. All he says, no, this is not by necessity. Then I say, no, you are like I am. That's why the Asha'ira and the Maturidis, they say, it's upon al-baligh, another first. You should not just blind follow. You understand? But believe in Allah, you're not blind following. You are following the fitrah. And the aql is selling, you understand? Yeah. So that's take us back. You're proving my point, okay? Okay, let, let's demonstrate to us safe. You're speaking to a philosopher, uh, atheist philosophers, yeah? What is the premise that you're gonna agree with? What is the, the starting point? I'm no expert in philosophy. Okay, you, you watch Mohammed Hijab's videos, he's speaking to some guys for two hours, okay? The guy's bringing doubt, he's refuting it, bringing another doubt, he's refuting it. There is now some people maybe, they have married, yes? And if you speak to him, but you don't, you can show them the construction of this philosophy. But I'm saying, Akhi, don't entertain it for a long time and don't try to defend Islam. I'm not defending Islam. When I show, like, for example, I'm not defending Islam when I told the guy, give me the phone. I'm just showing him the stupidity of his claim, the foolishness for him to wake up. You understand? The foundation. But he could, you remember this guy, Alhamdulillah, you can see, Mala guide him. He woke up straight away. But if it's another philosopher, maybe if it's a philosopher who has disease, he can bring another argument against you. He say, yeah, about this and that, you understand, Akhi? Mm -hmm. And you have to entertain that. No, simple. You know, you understand, Akhi? Yeah. Remember that brother that he was talking to that said he didn't know if he was there? That he said he just, Salam yeah. alaikum. The brother that he said he didn't know that I was there. Salam alaikum. Yeah, come I, like I, I had talked to him and he had, had broken down the premise already. Yeah. He came to you two years later asking me the exact same questions. Yeah. Well, I spoke to Sabur for th three hours. He spoke to Muhammad Hijab for two hours. Oh, the Asian guy. Asian guy spoke to him for three hours. He spoke to Muhammad Hijab for two hours, yeah? But to be honest, majority of brothers speak to him. And it happened to me in the past, Akhim. I'm not going to tell you that never happened to me. It happened to me in the past. When I speak to some atheists, I entertain the argument. I go for hours. And I leave them without giving a reminder about their judgment. But that's not the Quranic teaching. The Quranic teaching is Allah said. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said. The companions said. Barakallahu alaykum. You accept? You accept you're gonna be the jannah, Because I've heard other these other YouTubers they say that oh, you've got to use um, the arguments outside the Quran to prove the Quran and things like that. Yeah. Read the Quran. There's arguments. Allah, 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 Allah,